I am Marwal, the YouTuber, is currently looking for this man, and here is why. On Sunday, on the 14th of April 2024, Ayamara and his girlfriend Rocabrera were taking a walk in the streets of Upper Hill, Nairobi. And as we all know, Nairobi is place here, which is there, and this is what happened. The thieves in Nairobi did not even spare them. And that is how Rokabera lost her pass. Her pass, which according to Amarwa, had her iPhone, her GoPro 10, some cash, iPods, wallet, and bank cards. And also from the video, we can hear Amarwa talking about the passport. So basically, the pass had important things, and this pass was unfortunately stolen. Amara took to social media to let people know of what had happened to him and his girlfriend. At the time of this incident happening, they were making a vlog. And this is what Ayamara does. So this is what he said on Instagram. This just happened to us. Kindly share it widely to help us. OMG, I lack words. I personally fear to be in this city. Hope someone helps us identify this thief. He went ahead to say this was this morning around 9.30 a.m. And uh, we had just arrived in the city of Nairobi from our village. So we felt being a Sunday, it was nice to walk around the city of Nairobi for sightseeing. And uh, unfortunately for them, that is what met them as they were enjoying the sights in Nairobi. Now, as I was going through the comment section, I realized that Kenyans will help you, yes, but they will also correct you. And many people noticed how Rokabera was walking closer to the road and Amara was on the other side. And according to people on the comment section, this was the first thing that Amara did wrong. And I was surprised. And you guys are blaming Amara when you should be talking about the thief. But I can understand that people were trying to help him be cautious next time to prevent this from happening again. So people were reminding him that your girl should be on the other side of the road and you should be the one near the road so that you can protect her. That is what most people were telling him. Other than that, people were also telling him that you shouldn't put such important things on, you shouldn't put such important things in your sling bag. Others were saying that is not how a sling bag should be carried in Nairobi. And this is actually true. If you walk through Nairobi, Nairobi women know that if you're holding a sling bag, you often put it across your chest so that no one can take it away. Even I myself, that is how I usually carry my sling bag. But you can see that in the video, Rokabera was carrying the sling bag up, um, over her shoulder and it was so easy for the Buddha Buddha guy to snatch the bag. At the same time, there, are, there were also people who felt that this thing was scripted, all of it was scripted and this is because there was a camera there. But then again, Amara defended himself by saying that, hey, you know what, I was just a vlogging. That's why the camera was on. I also wondered why people were accusing him of making this a script or that saying that or saying that it was a script because really as Kenyans we know that these things do happen. We have seen it happening. Some of us have, can give this same story and say that hey, this happened to me. In fact, as I was going through the comment section, I saw people talking about how this has this incident happened to them as well at one time or another. So this is just how Nairobi is. And at this time, it is insecure. We do have thieves around. So from this, we can take a lesson and just be safe, just protect ourselves, hold our sling bags the right way, put important things the right way so that we avoid losing things and losing a lot. You know, even if you get in a situation where something from you is snatched away, at least you won't have lost as much. So let's just all be careful. But I also feel that these insecurities and this thing of the thing should also be addressed because we have these Boda Boda guys. 
and history of Boda Boda guys actually snatching bags from women has been rampant and something finally needs to be done about it. Now, as I said, Amara is looking for this man. Luckily for him, he had a camera and he was able to capture the man and even the face. So he is currently looking for him. They were also able to locate the phone. At first, they said they could locate it in Mathare area and they were able to actually specifically locate it along Mau Mau Road. So Amara is currently just trying to locate the phone and trying to find out if anyone knows this guy or how he can locate this guy. He has identified the border, the border type or the bike type and he's just basically doing his best to recover the things that were lost. I just feel bad for Rokabera because maybe this was her first time experiencing Nairobi and experiencing Nairobi like this is not exactly the best thing. Now do let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole story and what suggestion would you give so that we just end all this insecurity in Nairobi and all this theft in Nairobi. I have been your girl, Arel Wangari. Always keep it here on BNN, where we the bees like to keep it buzzing.